Let's solve another simple problem involving the pressure created by a column of fluid. If the water pressure at the base of the water tower shown is 4.15 bar, we want to determine the absolute pressure of the air which is trapped in the tower above the water level. And we want to find that in bar. And we're given that the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter and the acceleration of gravity will take is 9.81 meters per second squared. So we can write uh, an expression for the pressure at the bottom. It's simply the pressure of the water. So it's the pressure uh, created by the column of water above the bottom, plus the pressure of the air, which is sitting above the surface of the water. And we know that a, a column of a fluid uh, creates a pressure designated by rho gh. That's the density times the acceleration of gravity times the height of the column of fluid. So in this case, we can substitute uh, rho gh for the pressure of the water. So the pressure at the bottom is just rho gh for the water plus the pressure of the air. Now the pressure of the air is our unknown, so let's rearrange this equation and solve for the pressure of the air. Well, that's the pressure at the bottom, which we know, minus rho gh. So we can substitute values. The pressure at the bottom is 4.15 bar. And now we'll subtract the uh, uh, product of rho gh. Uh, rho is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Acceleration of gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. And the height of the column of water is 30 meters. So we have the pressure of the air is 4.15 bar minus, let me multiply all of these terms together, I get 294,300 newtons per square meter. Well, we need to convert that to bar. Well, one newton per square meter is a pascal, and there are uh, 10 to the fifth pascal in one bar. So we now have that the pressure of the air is 4.15 bar minus the result of this uh, in, uh, unit conversion, which is 2.94 bar. And we calculate that the pressure of air trapped above the water is 1.21 bar.